Hi, this is Farmer Betty Plus Books, and today I'm going to be doing the Stardew Valley book tag. I had a lot of fun creating this tag and coming up with prompts for each of the characters. So what I'm going to be doing is for each of the love interests in Stardew Valley, I'm going to have a prompt and then I'm going to name a book based upon that prompt. First, we have Emily who makes her own clothes in the game and she's fairly fashionable, but in like a less traditional way. And so for this, I need to pick a character that either makes their own clothes or is otherwise very fashionable. So for this, I picked The Queen Con by Megan Scott Mullen in this, the main character um, doesn't make a lot of her own clothes as far as I can tell, but she does do a lot of costuming. And in this book, she actually creates some outfits for like a drag show at a comic convention. So I thought that aspect of this kind of lighthearted murder mystery book was a lot of fun. Next we have Abigail. Abigail has so many aspects to her that I could have touched on. Uh, like she has a pet hamster, she has purple hair, she plays an instrument. Um, she seems to have something magical maybe going about her. She's like a video game nerd. Um, she's got a lot going on, but one of the things that I really liked about her is there's like a scene where she's like, doing some sword fighting. So for Abigail's character, I chose the prompt, pick a book with a character with a sword wielding woman or girl. So for this, I chose Daughter of the Sword by Steve Bine. I haven't heard much about this book in the booktube world or really otherwise, but it's about a woman who is a police officer in Tokyo and she's going on some mission, but she discovers that there's some supernatural elements in this and she discovers a lot of intersections uh, between like sword fighting and like magic using. I really enjoyed the series overall. I thought I owned it, but now I can't figure out where it went. I might have to figure that out and figure out if I need to rebuy it for my shelves because I really want to reread it now. Next we have Harvey, which is my favorite of the uh, male love interests in this game. He's a doctor. He's kind of like shy and nerdy and he's really into radio communications and things like that. But I thought it would be difficult for, to find a character that was really into like ham radio. So for this, I thought it would be easier for people people to use the prompt find a book with a character that has a doctor or a healer in it. And for this, I picked the series and book, uh, The Diviners by Libba Bray. And this is a great series that follows a diverse cast of characters and explores their magical powers. They're dealing a lot with racism. I believe this takes place like in the 20s. It's a really neat blend of magic historical fiction and investigating prejudice during that time. And I find this really interesting because in the 20s, it really was like completely legal to discriminate against people based on their race, their gender, or their sexuality. So this goes really deep into all of that, and I really like the series. Next we have Maru. Maru is really smart and really inventive, and she throughout the storyline of Stardew Valley is trying to build a robot. So for this one, the prompt is pick a book that features robots. For this, I picked Autonomous by Anna Lee Newitz. This is a book that combines looking at the idea of autonomy and autonomy in potentially sentient beings, but uh, fabricated beings like robots, while also looking at the ethics of pharmaceuticals pharmaceuticals and drug patents. And I found this really interesting as a concept. A lot of the characters didn't grip me too much. I didn't personally relate to them, but I think a lot of people would really like this book in terms of the things it explores. Next we have Alex, who as far as I can tell, his defining feature is that he's really into sports and being like a tough guy. So for this one, the prompt is pick a book where there's a strong sports motif or there's a character that is very into a sport. And for this, I picked The Tall Hopper Society by Michael Edelson. So this is a book where characters go and participate in a sword fighting competition. Uh, there's a variety of styles and I think overall the concept is interesting. It goes a little bit into a few interesting questions about like disability and illness and things like that. I felt like it could have used more depth, but if you are really interested in different like sword fighting styles and like a book with a lot of different combat, then you might like this. Next we have Leah and Leah is a character that's kind of interesting. It sounds like she came to Stardew Valley shortly before you did after a breakup and she's coming here to kind of escape city life and become more of an artist. She does sculpture. I could not think of a single book where there is a sculptor in the book, so I thought thought other people might have difficulty with that too. So I focused on the aspect of her having recently moved. So this prompt is pick a character who recently moved bonus points if it's from like a big city to either the country or a small town. I did not get the bonus points for this one, but I picked The Witch Elm by Tana French. In this mystery thriller book, our main character Toby moves to his uncle's large estate uh, from his apartment in the city after experiencing a traumatic event. It's kind of a slow paced mystery. And I think to me it was more of a mystery than a thriller, but I really like Tana French's work and writing style. So I recommend this as well. Next we have Shane. Shane has 
many problems, but I wanted to focus on the positive aspects of him. So Shane is a huge animal lover. So the prompt for this one is pick a book with a character that either really, really loves animals or a book where most of the characters are animals. And so for this, I picked Wild Magic by Tamara Pierce. This is a book about our main character, Diana, who kind of becomes like a druid or nature wizard over the course of the book and over the course of the series. So that's kind of like the epitome of nature lovers. This isn't my favorite of Tamara Pierce's books, but all of her books are good. Next we have Penny. Penny is a shy, quiet girl who's kind of a bookworm, um, has some problems with her mom, is very straight-laced as a result of her mother's behavior and is trying to kind of go against that. She really loves children and teaches the kids that are in town. For Penny, I'm going to go with the prompt, pick a book with a character that is a huge bookworm. So for this, what came to mind for me was the character Harry Potter, not in the traditional Harry Potter series, but in the book Harry Potter and the Methods of Rationality. This is an enormous fan fiction. It's like 2,000 pages. So in this book, Harry was raised not by the Dursleys, but by Aunt Petunia and some other guy whose name I don't remember. But perhaps as a result of his upbringing, he is much more analytical and well-read than the original Harry Potter in the canon universe. And when he's packing for Hogwarts, the first thing he packs is this huge trunk of all of these books that he wants to read. Not even just like school books he's supposed to have, but like books he wants to bring with him and read. So I thought of him for this prompt. Next we have Sebastian. Sebastian has kind of a dark aesthetic. He is not shy, but he is a loner. He seems kind of depressed, but like not like, oh, that sad depressed like Shane seems, but like kind of cool depressed. One of the things I like about him is that he's a freelance programmer. And so for this one, I am using the prompt, pick a book with a character that does programming or works with computers a lot. And for this, I picked Mr. Penumbra's 24 hour bookstore. So in this book, that we we are following a lot of like exploration of a puzzle within a literary context, but then overall one of the side characters I believe works a lot with computers in order to try and figure things out. So that's my selection for this prompt. Next we have Haley, for which I did the prompt, pick a character who starts out kind of cold and unlikable, but gets more likable as the series or book goes on. Cause Haley starts out a little bit like standoffish, like she's polite, but she is not really interested in you in, or involved with your life. She's kind of cold and distant, but then as you increase in friendship with her, you kind of see that she has some kind of like kind soft side and can be a little bit more down to earth and real. So for this, I picked Harrow in the Locked Tomb series. In the first book, Gideon the Ninth, Harrow is very cold and standoffish. And over the course of the first book, mostly towards the end, um, and the second book where she's the main point of view, I did start to like her more. I'm not going to say that I liked her by the end of book two, but she did become more likable and more sympathetic, I guess, slightly, just a little bit. Next we have Elliot who lives on the beach and he's a writer. I didn't get too deep into his storyline because I'm not really that interested in him overall. So for this, I picked the prompt, name a book with a character that's a writer or name a book that takes place on the beach. And for this, I picked The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath. I really loved this book as a depressed teenager. And I think a lot of other people who were depressed teenagers or young adults and read this during that time might have related. It is about depression, but it's also about the experience of like growing up and being in that transitionary period between like being a teenager and being a full adult. And the main character in this, Esther is a intern writer at a newspaper for the summer. And that's how our story starts. So finally we have Sam. Sam puts the young and young adult. He still is very childlike. So he does a lot of skateboarding. He lives in his family's house. Although a lot of the characters in Stardew Valley that are romance options do live with their parents. So it's not like it's unusual. So he's in a band with two of the other romance options, uh, Sebastian and Abigail, but he seems to be the one that really wants to make music a career rather than just it being a fun thing. Thing on the side. So for Sam, the prompt is pick a book with a character that is a musician. And for this, I picked something that everyone has heard of by now, and that's Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. In this book, the main character, Quoth or Quoth, it says specifically how to say it in the book, and I can never remember it anyway. He comes from a very musical family, and as he goes through the book, his musicianship is a lot of what 
keeps him able to provide for himself and gets him out of a lot of situations. So I think this is a good pick for this prompt. So that is all the romance options in Stardew Valley. So that is all for this tag. So this is a tag and I feel like the normal amount of people to tag is like three, but I have so many people I want to tag and I also don't know who's played Stardew Valley. So I'm going to tag a bunch of you. First we have Caitlin, C-A-I-T-L-I-N, Joyce. I feel like she's my mirror and that we like a lot of the same books, but while I am like fluffy and nice about everything I don't like, she she is just brutal with things. She will tell you and go off on a book if she didn't like it and I love her for it so I just really want to see if she's played Stardew Valley. I want to see her just roast some of the love interests that she did not like. Then I'm going to tag Chatty Z. She does more of a like hand booktube channel but she has very good like sense of aesthetics and things. I love watching her because she has just different enough from my book taste to get me a little bit out of my comfort zone um, but I've still liked almost every everything that we have both read. So I really love watching her channel. Next, I want to tag Steph's Bookish World. So every time I see Steph do a tag, I either get fantastic recommendations or she's just super spot on with like making the perfect recommendation for a particular item in the tag. I'm tagging It Spells because she is super fun to watch. She's funny, she's insightful, and every video is just a joy to watch because she has such great energy. I'm tagging Zoe Cedar because even though we have very different book tastes, I think, um, I keep coming back to her because because she has such an upbeat attitude and she has amazing sense of aesthetic. I'm tagging Serene Sloth whose energy really does fit her title and I feel like whenever I just need a mellow day of watching videos and need to like chill out, hers are the videos that I go watch. And finally I'm going to tag Will's Infinite Library. Will has one video up so hopefully this is not too much pressure but again he has similar reading taste to me and he has a conversational style that I really like. So that's all the people that I'm explicitly tagging. If you want to do this and I didn't tag you, I apologize. I probably didn't realize that you were following me and would see this, but please consider yourself tagged if you want to do this. If you do end up doing this tag, please let me know in a comment and I will go try and find your video and leave it in the description below. And if you think you have a better prompt for one of the characters, use it. I hope you had fun with this. Until next time, happy reading. I was really disappointed that I didn't have any overalls for this video, but I hope the hat was enough.